right, folks. So uh, we have had this Acer TC885 UR19 computer uh, for a little bit now, at least two weeks. And uh, so I'm ready to give you a review of it as I've uh, played with it. And if you watch this channel, you know one of the things I do is build PCs. Uh, we've got actually quite a few of them here. But uh, so, you know, I always start, that's really my baseline. How does it compare to something that I could build myself? Whether that is fair justification or not, probably is not. But hey, um, it's, this is my opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion. And so you're watching this and I guess you want to hear what I have to say. So, all right. So let's start with a couple things right off the bat there. There were some positives and some negatives about this here desktop. Uh, so we'll just start here. So they ship you uh, this Acer keyboard. And uh, thank you, Acer, for uh, providing me with this computer to check out. Um, I, you know, being a bigger person, this is like one of the first things I would replace. A lot of people usually replace the, the mouse. Uh, this would be the, the first thing probably. So this is the kind of keyboard I like. Um, you can see how much bigger it is. Um, and it's obviously ergonomic. So is that a fair comparison? Would you expect them to ship a, you know, $30, $50 keyboard with this? Probably not. But something that's actually a little wider, a um, little more separation here between all this would be nice. All right. So that's one thing in front of me. Now the mouse, um, you know, it's a cheap mouse, uh, not wireless, it's wired, works pretty good. That is one of the most important things, that it works good. Now, uh, is it ergonomic and is it comfortable? Uh, not compared to this uh, Logitech mouse, which has a really nice feel to it, and it's definitely more comfortable than the Acer mouse. So, right there, you know, you can't expect a whole lot out of this. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's talk about the computer itself. And in the other video, I, I open it up, but uh, in this one, we're not going to open it up. All right, so um, hard drive-wise, you've got a one terabyte mechanical hard drive. And this has the 16 gig Optane, or excuse me, 16 gig Intel Optane memory, all right? Now, anybody that's familiar with solid-state drives will realize that there's no comparison between uh, the solid-state and these Optane drives. Um, this is not my first time dealing with them, but uh, every time, you know, I, I keep hoping for more and more out of it, and it continues to disappoint me. Um, so if you have the ability to have an M2 NVMe solid state drive in your computer. Um, that's where you want your operating system on. That's where you're going to get the best results. Um, Intel can do all at once with these mechanical uh, hard drives. Maybe one day they will figure out how to make them really awesome. Uh, so let's uh, let's click on properties here. All right, so of course this came with uh, Windows 10. This is Windows 10 Home. Uh, personally, I prefer Pro, but it's another story. Um, ships with a measly four gigabytes of RAM. So pretty weak um, Acer. I expect more out of uh, an i5 uh, 8th gen. Uh, this is the uh, i5 8400, 2.8 gigahertz. And, you know, a computer like this demands at least 8 gigabytes. So um, I'm almost amazed that they they would even put 4 gigs in a computer. All right. So that said, I would love to run the benchmark for you that I usually use here. But all it will show is triple zeros. Triple zeros. Now, that being sad as it is, um, over there I've got a ninth gen i5. And that thing is a monster uh, compared to this. So uh, what does this computer suffer from? Uh, slow boot ups. It takes forever to boot up. Um, I actually 
think you know there was an issue with the uh, the CPU fan in this computer, and there possibly still is. Uh, I smelt, uh, you know, uh, basically smelled like smoke, but uh, there was no smoke to be seen. Um, so either you know there's an issue with the CPU fan, possibly, uh, maybe not enough thermal paste. Who knows? But uh, you know, pretty much unsat the fact that it uh, once it gets cranking. It starts to stink up. Uh, it did. It did uh, black out on me uh, a couple times, and then the little front light started flashing. So that was not a um, big plus for this here desktop. Now on the front, you got your microphone, headphone. This USB is uh, kind of questionable. Um, it works well for small files, and the second I try to transfer a large file through it. It uh, starts pausing. Weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, then you've got the Type-C USB. Uh, these are really nice. It's nice that they have that on the front. Micro SD card reader. That's also really nice to have on here. Um, your CD-ROM DVD thing. You know, kind of one of these deals. Not the best thing in the world. So that is uh, that's the front. Let's go around the back. All right, folks, I got out my uh, Momon um, fill light, so hopefully you're able to read that. Let me move it over a little bit, see the back of it, and let's actually unplug this so you can see what is actually on the back of these a little better. Okay, now, so in the back... Um, you see there's two HDMI outputs, which is really nice to get with a, uh, a desktop like this. The old VGA, four USBs, um, 2.0s, two USB uh, 3.1s, and then Ethernet. And then you've also got the microphone and headphones uh, in the back. Now this guy will allow you to uh, put in a uh, video card. Let me go around uh, back to the front. All right, so now on the video card, um, when you actually open this thing up, you will see that uh, the power supply is uh, somewhere between 250 and 350. I can't remember offhand, but it's nothing spectacular. It will not run the same kind of video cards that uh, you can put in your your custom builds when you have a 500, 600, 650 watt power supply so you'll be limited on the the video card you can put in here probably your best bet would be like a 1050 ti gtx 1050 ti um in your your gaming scores will be probably somewhere in the uh 30 percent range if you're using the cpu benchmark which means you know I, I would estimate uh, 1080p low settings at best. Um, now, I could be wrong. Maybe maybe you'll see uh, low 40s if you're lucky, which will bump that up, maybe up to medium. Uh, other options would be an RX 460, which is not uh, as good as the 1050 Ti. Uh, then there's the GTX uh, 1050 uh, and then the uh, the GT 1030, uh, which would probably score in the 20% range, and possibly you would not be able to even run 1080p um, and make it playable. So, kind of limited on the video card aspect. A lot of the stuff inside this thing is is looks like proprietary type cables. Um, it does look like you could upgrade the power supply. And uh, for the most part, it looks like an ATX power supply, which would be the same thing that's in that guy right there. So on a good note, um, being able to upgrade the power supply is nice. Now, um, not having the cables that are in there, um, you know, when you go to upgrade, you'll, it'll come with the cables. So you're going to be looking for something basically like that. Six or an eight pin PCI Express. Um, so 
that's what you would be faced with if you were to buy this and wanted to be able to um, do better gaming. Now, very limited on adding uh, extra hard drives. I think I noticed an extra SATA slot, um, but I did not see any extra um, SATA power supplies. So there's another case where if you wanted to add a hard drive, you would have to buy, I don't know if I'd call it a splitter, but we'll call it a SATA uh, one of the SATA power uh, splitters. So you get, you connect that to one, the one you have and it will power two devices. But uh, yeah, overall, um, I find it hard to recommend this due to all the issues that uh, this particular one had with it. And uh, you know, it is on the surface a really nice computer and definitely, um, you know, has some benefits to it. Uh, I wouldn't pay $800 for it. If this could be had for uh, around $400, it's probably a decent deal. Um, because I can't, I don't think I could actually build a i5-8400 computer uh, with $400. Um, it would be pretty tight uh, unless you went with the cheapest case, cheapest power supply. Um and, uh, you know, all the other stuff uh, would have to be decent, like the uh, the i5, and you don't want to be cheap on your CPU cooler. So, that is all I have for this video, folks. Please like, please subscribe, please watch more of my videos. Thank you.